Hey, I'm sorry, I think the camera's crooked. Okay, maybe that's better. I'm not sure. Well, hello, and a lot of you, well first, welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Natalie Decker, if you're new here. A lot of you really liked the last um, like video, I, I think I called it Days with Natalie Decker, let, let me check. I wanna be sure. Days with Natalie Decker, part one. Um, so I did this like video where I filmed multiple days in a row and kind of more like behind the scenes of random things I was doing, fun things that I was doing, um, things that I didn't even mean to get on camera, like when my mom FaceTimed me and there was a fan there with her and she was giving me a bunch of cool things she collected throughout her life of Mark Martin. So, um, I'm going to do another one of those, but first I'm sitting here because I want to talk to you guys about Daytona. We just got back from Daytona yesterday. Today is Tuesday. Yes, today is Tuesday. And we raced on a Sunday, which was crazy. Um, I feel like my whole week is like messed up now from racing on a, on a Sunday. Because so I usually got a lot of stuff done on Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday. And then I start getting ready for the weekend to go racing and it's like all pushed now since I raced on Sunday. I rested Monday because the race was crazy and so many drivers will agree with me. It was so hot and miserable and the whole infield care center was packed and there was drivers getting fluid and needing to be cooled down and it was kind of dangerous. <laughs> like a lot of people overheated bad so and I was one of them uh, and I still can't believe I like finished that race that's how bad it was um, but that's what I kind of wanted to talk to you guys about and a little bit about that I'm really excited a lot of you really liked the video that I made and I'm gonna be doing another one um, I was gonna work out with my trainer today I had planned to work out with her like actually 10 minutes ago we were gonna work out at 2 30 I believe but I'm so physically drained and tired from that race on Sunday that I was like, it's not a good idea. I really need to listen to my body and rest. Yesterday, I had an infusion for my arthritis. Um, if you haven't really been following me with that, quick story. I was on a medicine called Remicade. A lot of my fans are on like these infusions for arthritis or Crohn's or other autoimmune diseases that they have and so a lot of people were really familiar with what I was on. I had allergic reaction to it and I was probably on my like eighth infusion, my eighth time getting it, which was really crazy because usually you only get the, well they said you should only get the reaction like the first or second time, but it's common to get like to form antibodies I believe is what they said. And that's why I had this reaction, so now I'm on something called Symphony. So comment down below if you get infusions, if you're on Remicade, or if you have been, had a reaction, any of that stuff. If you're on Symphony, whatever, comment down below and let me know. But I had that yesterday, so like, I was so hot, dying in the race car Sunday, had to go get double IVs, ice packs everywhere, and was in the infield care center after the race with a lot of other drivers um some even went to the hospital and then after that i came we drove all the way home that night and then monday morning which was yesterday i went in for my infusion and so today i was like completely wiped out so tired long story short i told my trainer i couldn't work out but i'm in my workout outfit because she said stretch and do yoga um, as the day goes on i am starting to feel a little better but I'm gonna go stretch and do yoga. This, I've been talking for how long? Okay, only in four and a half minutes. Okay, that's quite a long time. But I'm done talking. This is the intro to the many days I will be filming. It will probably be up until I leave for Sonoma. That's where I'm racing this weekend with Ave Motorsports in that R8 car. So, I'm sorry, I'm done talking now. Please enjoy this video.
not kidding. This is every day. He just did this. Look at the fuzz everywhere. All right, back to stretching. Okay, that was, sorry for the music in the background. All done stretching. I feel so much better. She always knows what I need to do to help me feel better. I am now gonna go get on iRacing and train for Sonoma, cause that is coming up in a couple days and I'm gonna use the same coach that I used out in Thunder Hill and that I used for Daytona and um, I'm using him tonight. So I'm gonna go do that and like I said, I feel so much better after that. I think tonight, when it starts cooling off a little bit, I'm gonna go do like a cardio workout in the pool. You will know because if I do it, I will bring you to show you a little bit of what I do. We can do them that week. You know how people like do um, like handprints? You want us to bleach our hands? No. Handprints? I was thinking you should like put bleach on your lips and oh, kiss this. on every shirt. <laughs> and we can sell those. <laughs> oh, you're and you're like sealing the whole shirt with a kiss. Um, and you can autograph it. I think. I bet if we put a, a vote out there, people would want you to put bleach Mom, on your lips. Mom, that would ruin my lips. And you can get your lips blown up. Do you? Do you? I think we should bleach them how we bleached them last time. Um, they turned out cool. Yeah. I don't know. We can do a different design. Like we can swirl yeah. them this time instead of like scrunch them. We can do. Why don't you do like um? They have like paint for shirts. You yeah, could do like that Jackson Pollock, the artist, like well, you sweat can do that with cool bleach. paint on there. We can do that with bleach. Just throw the bleach. Like, like lay the shirt and just like splat it on, let it soak it in. Yeah. Oh. And then rinse it out. Why? Or you, or you could take and do like a big heart <laughs> on each shirt. On each shirt. A bleached heart. Well, I don't like know make it look really good. abstract. I don't know if I'm that good, but we could like take the bleach, you know, because we use that like gel toilet bleach. You yeah, yeah. like open it up and like kind of just splatter it. Yeah. And let it soak. Flip it, splatter it, let it soak. We can Rinse test it. one. Yeah. I was going to sit here really quietly because it looks like there's a legit business meeting going on here, but what if you put bleach in like a ketchup, like those old school ketchup bottles yes. and you sign it? Oh, yes! Yes! It won't look like I'm signing it, but it'll be like. But it'll be yeah, yeah. like abstract, like yeah. you're M D with a heart. That's it. That's what we're that's doing. That's we're doing it. Okay. Derek, how come you're so silly? Good idea. You can get back to pretending to work. Oh stop! <laughs> Baby is we, working really hard. Where's those koozies? I want to show them the koozies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. By new, the time new product, here, I'll take the camera. So I can tell them. Cash, got it. Cash, come here. What's baby doing? He's taking oh. a nap by his mom. Yeah. So, let me set you up so I can talk to you guys. Well, as you can see, I did not go for a swim workout yesterday because, or else I would have brought you with. Um, we. There was a lobster truck. What's it called? It's a famous lobster truck. Cousins Maine Lobster. Yeah, Cousins Maine. Cousins? 
Maine Lobster. They're pretty famous. They were like on Shark Tank and all these cool things. And we went and ate that and then visited with my parents. So these, by the time you see this video, these will probably already be all sold out. But these are the new koozies. Um, and we're selling them like in a pack of four. So if you have bought these and now you're watching this video, thank you. And I hope you enjoy them because they're really fun, especially this one. This one's really fun and summery. And then this one's like racing colors, the red and black. And then just a fun bright blue one too. So <laughs> I'm glad you got to hear our little business talk. <laughs> Bye for now. I'm just testing the lighting because I will be filming a podcast with our first guest we are going to have later today is going to be Derek Kraus and the podcast will be up and on YouTube before this video so if you haven't gone and watched it please go watch it because it well I don't know hopefully it's a good one <laughs> um but yeah so all I'm doing is really testing the lighting to see if it like is bright enough okay I'm gonna check it out Natalie's getting ready for her first guest podcast. I think I already told them when I was setting the camera up, I started record to check the lighting. And I think I said that Derek Krause will be the first guest. Well, we're waiting for Krause to get here. And Cash just decided he's going to steal the show. Do you want to be my first guest? Do you? He's carrying all of the bags. All I have is my little pink backpack. <laughs> so we just got here in California. Um, we just flew in today. So I wanted to update you a little bit so you're not confused on the videos you just saw. You just saw Derek walking up the stairs um, with the luggage and then a little bit of the Golden Gate. We flew into California because I will be racing at Sonoma. Tomorrow is the first practice day and tomorrow will probably be the last day we film like for this little couple day series of filming. I will try my best and I will make sure Derek tries his best on getting some good clips of behind the scenes of tomorrow. And like I said, it's just practice. So I hope you're enjoying this video as you're watching it and I will see you tomorrow. So I'm going around the track now, it's the second practice, so the first practice I was going around trying to see like where I can and cannot go because I've never been here to Sonoma. Um, trying to see where I can go to what I can see, all that, so I found a couple spots. I am no videographer or anything like that, this is just trying to give you guys some, some insight during practice here today. Um, I'm not sure if there's any place that you can watch the Trans Am races or anything like that, but I'm just out trying to get some footage, so I do not think I am a videographer or anything like that. Um, anyone who does this for a living, I give you guys credit because you make things look really cool. And as far as I can tell, I'm not sure I'm getting anything that cool other than some videos of the track. So I'm going to go back over here, um, see if we can get kind of a full course or full track video for you guys um, just to show you the track and everything like that we'll see if we can't catch Natalie I have no idea what turn I'm in right now we're like at the end of the drag strip here I think Natalie should be coming by soon I'll show you guys what I'm seeing right now and then we'll head on over I think she might be coming here soon yep right here 
So there's Natalie. So we'll go find a little bit better spot, see if we can't get the whole track in this video for you guys and kind of see what's going on here today. kind of footage Derek got at the track. I'm pretty sure it was only an on-track stuff. So I hope you liked it and I hope it was good. <laughs> Thank you so much. I feel like... We're going back tomorrow. What? The whole foods? Really? I'm sorry like if my hair is like super messy and I look all funky but thank you so much for watching this video another one of these like multiple days of filming I hope you enjoyed it comment down below and let me know as Derek makes so much noise like he always does I'm hungry thank you so much and I love you all and I will see you in the next video